So hello to everybody. We uh, just wanted to say hello and we miss you. And we hope that everybody's staying active and staying safe as best as you can while you're away. It's been hard having to be closed and not being able to see all our members and, and do all the things we normally do. But we wanted to try to bring our X circuits to you in your home with our first ever at home online X circuit workout. So what it's gonna be is it's going to be seven exercises. So we're gonna do a few less exercises and we're gonna make it a 30 minute workout instead of our normal 45 minute workout. We think being at home, it's a little harder usually to keep your attention and keep that motivation going as it is when you're here. And then also it's a little harder, especially with the kids out of school, things like that. You guys probably know what I mean, to get 30 minutes of uninterrupted time. So that's the other reason we would think it will be easier to simplify. So I'm going to demonstrate those seven exercises uh, before we start and then we'll hit the timer and I want you guys to just follow along. I'm going to do the workout with you. I'm not going to show you the exercises and then say go ahead and do it. I'm going to be here with you the whole time doing the workout and you follow along with me at home I hope. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. This is the first time we've ever done it, and we'll get started. So our first is going to be a side shuffle cross. So basically you're going to take a one-two shuffle, and then a cross punch, and then one-two shuffle, cross punch to the other side. Okay, so that's the, the first station. And then we'll do that for 70 seconds today. We got 15 seconds in between stations. You take as long as you need and you take as many rests as you need during, the, during this workout, right? And you jump back in when you can, just like when you're here at the studio. So the second one is a plank. So we're gonna go ahead and come down to our mat. Forearms on the floor, elbows underneath the shoulders. And I'm gonna lift the knees, straighten the legs, keep the body nice and level. So that's the, from the toes, same thing can be done here from the knees as well. So the goal here is just to hold that position for the full 70 seconds, okay? Then we've got a jumping jack, jack squat combo where we're gonna do one jumping jack, one jack squat, okay? One jumping jack, one jack squat, bringing the hips down. So that's number three. Number four, we come back to the mat. For a hip bridge, I'm going to bring my heels in close to my glutes. I'm going to lay my arms down. I have a head relax. I'm going to bridge. The hips will come up. I'm going to be on my shoulders, weights in my heels. And we're going to step out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. It's not a large movement, but we're going to move those feet. And I'll show you this from several different angles today. So we're doing three rounds to get that 30 minute workout in. So I'll be able to change my body position a little bit to help you all at home, okay? Then we got push-ups with shoulder taps. So again, you can do this on your knees here. We're gonna do a full push-up, come up, tap one shoulder, back down, and then tap the opposite shoulder. So that is number five. Number six is a double crunch on our back. Hands behind the head, draw the belly in, we're going to lift the feet and bring the knees up while we crunch and bring the elbows towards the knees. And then both hands come down, both hands come up. That's our double crunch. And then our very last exercise for today's circuit is going to be a single leg balance with arm circles. Okay? So all these exercises can be done at home without any equipment. That's the idea for this, this series of at-home circuits that we're going to be doing until we're able to open the gym back up. So there's some things we're going to um, recommend that you might want to do if you want to add a little more resistance. So like, for example, the single arm arm circle. You can even hold little water bottles if you want and things like that. Some of the exercises we'll do in the next few Videos will include using your chairs or stairs, maybe some things like that that you can do. Incorporate that everybody mostly has at home as well. Okay, so that's what we got for today. We'll go ahead and hit the timer, get the music going, and we'll start our workout. Here we go. 
That's our side shuffle cross. Side shuffle cross. So we're gonna go to, you got a couple different tempos you can go, all right? So you can go at your own pace here. Just make sure you're giving a little bit of a hip turn into that cross, right? And you wanna keep those hands up as well, right? So I'm not bringing my arms down from here. That's not what we're trying to do. We're gonna keep those hands, keep those shoulders engaged as we punch across, okay? So here's this little stepping motion. It's a little slower intensity, right? Or you can really pump it up. Good, that's it. You are about 20 seconds away, and we are our first one down, and you're at it. You got it. Good job, three seconds. Boom. Whew. There you go, one down, and we'll just go ahead. We got 15 seconds in between. Come on down, we'll set up. Yeah. If you're on your knees, you still want to keep your hips level and hold. So fists should be together, your eyes should be about looking into your fists, elbows. Right underneath the shoulders. We don't want to be back here like this. We want to have that. If we're on our toes, same thing. We want to keep the hips in line with your shoulders. Straight line from your heel to your glute to your shoulder. And your neck in alignment too by looking at your fist, not looking up like this. I may have to look up a little bit just to give you an idea how much time you left on the timer. And that's it, now keep breathing, draw that belly in, brace that core. We are 12 seconds to go. focus we'll kind of switch it up a bit each time so the next one is that jumping jack combo feet together hands down in. right that's our jumping jack that's our jack squat the one and one one and one so when we do our jack squat what do we want Okay, now if I slow down and I switch and show modifications or give some cues, go ahead and just keep going and do your normal workout, right? So what I want to show you here is our jack squat. We come down, hip stops, knee level. That's the key. All the way in, back up. So when I go out, my feet wider than the hips. When I go down, I want to come down to my the bottom of my hips are about knee level, and then back in, okay? All right, here we go. Back in with you. Arms overhead on the jacks. Hands to the chest on the squat jack. Woo! Good. Shake those legs out. Take some breaths. Make sure you grab any water anytime you need it as well. All right, we're gonna go into our push-up, or our, our bridge, I should say, on our back. Heels in close, hips up. Okay, that little walk, we go one foot out, the other foot out slightly, and then one back in, one back in slightly, okay? So you can see here, I'm trying to keep a hip straight line from my knee and then down to my shoulder, so I don't wanna to sag too much in the middle. That's the biggest challenge as you get tired on this one, is the hips start dropping to the mat. So one, two, three, four, out, out, in, in. One, two, three, four, out, 
out, in, in, that's it. Woo. Kind of hard for me to see the clock on this one, but I think we got, well, just five seconds left to go. And hips come down. There we go. Good. Woo! Now we're on for the push ups. Alright, so you got a mat. Or again, you can use a towel at home. If you don't have a mat, that's fine as well, okay? But we're going to either put knees on the mat for our push up hips. Your knees should be a little wider to help stabilize you because you're going to lift that one arm off, right? So you got to make sure your knees are a little wider. With your feet, same thing, slightly wider than the hip width. You're going to do that push up. That's going to help. And tap. Do it control. So, what I don't want to see is this, right? So, you shift all your weight, you twist your waist, your hip, and you tap that shoulder. Now you got, that's going to take the engagement of the core out, which is part of the whole purpose of this exercise. So, hips stay square to the floor. Squeeze tight when you lift that hand. The core has to do a little extra squeeze right there. Woo. Now we're down to 10 seconds. Let's fire it up for that finish right here. Push it hard to the end. Woo. Good job. Double crutches. So on our back, hands behind the head, deep breath, feet down, then we bring up, bring down. Good. So tuck that chin in, make sure that tummy, you can draw the belly in as best you can. You can I'm going to add another option here for you. So if you want to make it a little tougher at home, I'm ready for the challenge. Straight leg. But don't let that lower back come up off the ground. That's a bit. So if you start arching really bad, you got to bring those knees and legs back in. Let them be bent. And continue right here, okay? This is better for you. If you can't keep that form with that straight leg. We love to let you go ahead and do a challenge, but you gotta keep that form. Build that strength up first, then you can go on to the next level. That's it. Woo! Alright. Last one. So we're gonna pick a leg. And you're going to hold it for the whole round. Second round, do the opposite leg. Third round, we're going to have to switch halfway, right? So there's three rounds. So we're balancing right here. So I want my little circles to stay right in that shoulder height area. And I want my arms back so my chest is opened up a little bit, right? So I don't I want my hands out here next to me. I don't want them up front when I'm doing my circles. I want to get good. So if your, your range of motion lets you get those arms out there, open up that chest. Okay? Working all those stabilizing muscles in the knee, ankle, hip right here. Now modification, just light toe on the floor. Keep that toe right there. That's perfectly fine. That'll help. It's better than falling all over the place, right? All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. What do we got? 15 seconds. And that means round two will be done. And you know what that is. That means final, final round. Final round. That's it. Ooh, good job. Let's grab a quick drink of water if you got it. All right, last round. Side shuffle across. Whew, just stay with me. Let's get this done. One. 
One, two, punch. One, two, punch. Alright, last round. A couple things to keep in mind. Are we keeping those hands up? Oh, we are? Alright, try to add that little power in there. Give a good punch. Come on. That's it. Thank you for putting in the effort. Come on now. Final bit, final bit. Good turn. Rotate the shoulders. Rotate the hips. One. Huh. Thank you again. All right. Let's see. You haven't tried doing it on your toes yet. Maybe last time you did it on your knees both times. Let's see if you can do it on your toes, even if it's for five seconds. Even if it's for a couple seconds, and then come back down. Okay? Why not? Keep it shot. All right. How's that position? Press those arms through the floor. All right, if you're out there and you're doing it on your toes, you want another little challenge. Dig your toes into the floor and your elbows and now pull your elbows towards the direction of your feet. And just feel that go right into your midsection. Whew. So I don't know if that's easy to see on the, on the video, but all I'm gonna do is imagine I'm just kind of not letting my arms slide because I want to keep them stationary into the mat or into your towel, but I'm going to pull my elbows in the direction of my feet and not let my body move forward, okay? Because if I pull, what happens? My body wants to go forward. So I'm going to fight that by digging my feet in also. And I'm going to feel that extra tight squeeze back into the midsection. Woo! Yeah. All right, jumping jack squat combo. We're back up. Here's your challenge. No break. That's it. 70 full seconds. You can slow the tempo if you need to. But try not to stop. Come on, it's the last round. Why not? <sighs> Woo. Good, get those arms up all the way over your head. Don't cut yourself short on these. A lot of people want to do this, right? They're not. No, get all you can out of it. If you're going to be here, if you're going to do the work, get out of it. What you can. Fall. Arms all the way overhead. Woo! What do we got? 10 seconds. If you haven't stopped now, you don't need to. It's 10 seconds. Come on. Woo! That's it. Good job. Hip. One more time on that bridge. It's in addition. Squeeze and then again, hold right here if you need to. And then come out and make your breaks. That's level one right here. Just hold. Level two. Keep the march. Ooh, I caught myself. I was letting my hips go down. Don't, get you, don't let it happen to you. I just thought I'm stomping. And I'm stomping out this damn virus. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Stomping it out of this world. Woo, 
could have used that for the punches earlier too, huh? That yeah, maybe you can. <laughs> when you do this workout again, feel free to punch it too. Punch the virus when we do our punches. Woo! Come on down. We're good. Alright, push ups. I don't think I've done the push-up from this direction yet, so I'm gonna do this just so you can see the hips and the where the hips line up, right? So even if I'm doing my push-up on my knees, I see a lot of these push-ups where my butt stays up in the air, right? That might be because you're just not strong enough maybe to do the push-up all the way with your hips down. Could be that you just don't can't tell the form is wrong, right? So if you're for if you have to keep the hips down, maybe you might have to do a smaller push-up. That's okay. I'd rather you do that than have your hips back here and try to do it this way, okay? We'll work up to it. Okay, you can always do the push-ups against the wall also, right? So if you need to modify even more, here's a push-up up against the wall, tap that shoulder, push up against the wall, tap that other shoulder, okay? We want to make sure we got a workout that can work for everybody. Here we go. 15 seconds left. Woo, that's it, right there. All right, double crunch, two more to go. All right, I'm gonna stick with the standard option this time. Again, draw the belly in, let the abs lift the head and shoulders. The arms are just, hands are just lightly touching behind your head. You're not pulling. This is another thing to think about. Well, there's a natural arch in your lower back, right? But when you draw the lower, when you draw your belly in, you try to pull your hips up slightly so that your arch of your lower back is flat. So that's called pushing your lower back into the mat. And that's going to help engage your abs also. If you do have a bad lower back, again, you can take the leg lift out and do just crutches. Or you can do the single leg for your alternate, right? And I see the clock. Oh, there we go. All right, last one. And the leg's not going to get so tired because we get to switch after 35 seconds. All right. No different on the arms, though. Here we go. Circles, keep those hands up, right? Here we are. This is what happens when we get tired. And it's that third round, right up here. You may not have a mirror. I do. I actually, lucky, fortunate enough, I can see. But just look out to the side. Make sure your hands are up. And then try not to lose your balance. All right, ready? Switch legs. And you are less than 30 seconds away from your workout. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Woo. And time, that's it. Woo. Good job. Now we want you to make sure that you guys take time, whatever you need, to stretch on your own, cool yourself down, and again, if it's 30 minutes, you can do this workout again the next day or two. We'll hopefully be sending out another video in the next couple days, hopefully twice. You know, our goal is to shoot out two a week 
Um, and then again, supplement it with anything you would like, like going outside, doing some biking, doing some running, doing some riding. So again, thank you. I'm glad we got a chance to bring this video to you. I hope you guys enjoy it and put it to good use. And we'll see you guys hopefully very soon in person. All right, take care.